Hey guys, what is up? And we are back. I wanted to show you just really quickly something I did for the server um, that I've had. If you haven't seen it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but this is loading, doing like a quick little auto load feature for your maps. And this is for 1.12, but 1.13 probably works the same. I mean, some commands need to be changed, but the idea is the same. Anyway, so we're just going to load a world called world. And uh, yeah, that's all we're going to do. I decided to do it all fresh because... Um, I don't have the functions anymore. I deleted them because they're just something I can make that easily. Uh, but you're going to go into your saves and go to the world and that you're doing it. Data, functions, I mean, all that will be different in 1.13, but it's okay for now. So here we are in the world. Uh, let's do game rule, command block output, false. That's all we need. All right. So we're going to create a new text file. Call it uh, load or whatever you want it. We go into that. All right, file, save as, and we're going to save it as an MC function. So, oh gosh, I have a lot of file types. All right, so we'll go here. We're going to save it, right? All right, so now inside it, and there'll be a new one, right? We don't need the text one anymore. All right, so the commands are pretty simple. We're going to do, we're going to go onto here, and we're going to create a scoreboard. Scoreboard, objectives, add, C, dummy. All right. Then we're going to do scoreboard players add at a score underscore z underscore min equals one. And then we're going to just do z one. Actually, we're, we're actually, sorry, it's just adding z all the time. All right. And then we are going to do tp at a score underscore z underscore min equals one. And we're just going to pick uh, like one right there. All right. And then we do tp at a score underscore z equals zero. And we're going to pick negative one. All right. And then we are going to do tp at a score underscore z underscore min equals, I think it's 1800. And then we're going to just go 50. All right. So basically, let me explain what we're doing here. So we have a z scoreboard. The z scoreboard is going to count up basically how many blocks you've traveled positive z direction from 0 to 1800 once you reach 1800 you're going to move over in the x direction by 50 and what this is going to do is it's going to make you go down the map vertically move over to the right and then move up the map vertically um, that's what this this does it teleports you up the map um, now to make it go up and count upwards we just have to do scoreboard players set at a score underscore z underscore min equals 1800 and it will set your score to of z to negative 1800 so it just puts us the opposite amount and that's all you need that's all and then all you need to do is do slash reload give at p get a map you want to get a map out and this is how to load a max size map really fast um and i'll show you the easy technique to do it uh, but this will load a map, a max sized map. You can change it to smaller sizes by figuring out how big the smaller size is. I just know that the max size map is about 2,000 by 2,000 approximately. So I do 1,800 because that's good enough. Uh, so let's go here. One, two, three, four. And then we just do that. That'll give you a level four map. And here we are in the top left corner, which is actually kind of inconvenient. Let's teleport negative 2,000, which will put us kind of off the map. All right, come back. And you want to just go to the top left corner of whatever map you're trying to auto load. All right. And then just do that. That's it. All right. Let's do video settings, load 15 chunks at once. Pretty big. All right, there we go. And then do game rule game loop function uh, load colon actually just load wait sorry 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 sorry. you have to have a folder or something let me just call this main you have to put the load inside a folder <laughs> all right sorry about that it's kind of late all right there you go main load and then scoreboard players set at p z zero and then oh I didn't save it either there we go. And as you can see, we're moving down across the map. I think I can turn the 
render distance down. All right. So as you can see, we're moving downwards across the map. And once we get to the bottom, we're going to teleport over. But all we have to do is just leave it like this, hit T or something, and leave your computer, go play on your phone in your bed or something. Come back about 20 minutes later, it should be loaded in 20 minutes. Now you can make it move a little faster than one block, depending on how fast your computer is. But mine just works best moving at one block at a time. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of lag. I'll show a little time lapse of what it looks like when it loads the map. That's pretty much it. It's not that complicated. You have a scoreboard that helps you count how far until you reach the bottom of the map, and then it teleports you over and counts negatively back to zero and then teleports you over. Um, oh, sorry, one, one more thing to it. <laughs> I, I always forget this. You also want it to teleport you 50 blocks over if you hit exactly zero. Underscore Z equals zero. You want that too. Otherwise, you'll double load the same area. All right. Yeah, so it'll just teleport us to the bottom and eventually it's going to teleport us. We can put the Z in the sidebar so we can see how it is. So as you can see, we're around 1,000, which is a little more than halfway, and we're a little more than halfway done. And I'll go ahead and just let it load through as we go, and just just so you can see an example of what happens when it gets to the bottom. Oh, but yeah, I thought this was pretty useful because I had to load nine maps for the server, so I just set it up to load a map, and then when it finished, I would look over from my bed, and then when it finished, I would, you know, get out of bed and pull out the second map and start loading the second map. And then I just did that. Nine maps. It took, like, I think four hours. It still takes a while. I mean, it's a large amount of space. It's 2,000 by 2,000 blocks. That's 40,000 blocks each map. So, well, that's more than 40, right? Oh, as you can see, there's a little bit of space it left at the bottom. If, if that space bothers you, you can get rid of it. You can adjust the... Um, you can adjust the amount, so I think changing it to 1900 helps a little bit. You can change it to 2000, it just depends on how long you want. And the teleport over, I put as 50, but I think it works with 150 even better. Uh, but I just, you know, 50 was just a safe number. You can adjust this, uh, how much it teleports to try and get the perfect uh, ratio for you. Um, but that's pretty much all it is. As you can see, I'm just going to keep teleporting back up until my Z number reaches zero, and that's going to teleport me over and then start teleporting me back. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool, guys. Hopefully that was useful to you if you have to load a map or something. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace.